the KMNN studios, this is the Kids Morning News Network. Good morning, it's April 29th, 2024. It's Monday, and I'm Alex in the KMNN studio in New York. Happy National Zipper Day. This is the day we celebrate the first patent for a zipper issued in the United States. Where would we be without zippers? We'd have a lot more buttons, that's for sure. There's a new world record holder today in the one mile road run. And he's a teenager. Emmanuel Wanioni is from Kenya and 19 years old. Last year, when he was 18, he won a silver medal at the World Athletics Championship. Over the weekend, he ran in the Road to Records event. That's a good name for it. In Germany. Just how fast was he? His record-setting mile lasted just 3 minutes and 54 and a half seconds. At that speed, he'd finish at least 2 miles in the time it takes me to do this episode of Kids Morning News. Emmanuel beat the earlier record by almost two seconds, which is a long time in a race like this. But here's the thing. He started celebrating even before he crossed the finish line. He knew he was on track to set a new record. But when runners do anything except run, like when they celebrate, they slow down a little bit. So some sports writers are suggesting that if he'd just gone full speed the entire time, he might have been even faster. But who can blame him? After all, he'd never run a mile race before. Yes, that's true. It was his first time running a race this long. Let's say he's off to a good start. Today is the birthday of one of the greatest American composers and musicians, Duke Ellington. He was born April 29th, 1899 in Washington, D.C. His parents named him Edward, but his mother taught him such good manners and dressed him so well that his friends thought he needed a title, so they called him Duke. His parents both played piano, and they signed Duke up for lessons when he was seven. But for a long time, Duke was more interested in baseball and art. He even got a scholarship to a famous art school. But as a teenager, he realized he loved music most of all, and he wrote his first song when he was 15. After high school, Duke moved to New York City. This was when jazz music was becoming big. Jazz encourages musicians to find their own way of playing, which was perfect for Duke Ellington. He created a kind of music that was all his own. His songs weren't just catchy, they told stories. They changed our culture. And today, 100 years after he first started playing in New York City, he's still one of a kind. Happy birthday, Duke Ellington. It's riddle time. Friday's riddle was a word I know, six letters it contains. Remove one letter and 12 remains. What is it? Do you know? It's dozens. If you take away one letter, it's dozen, which is 12. Today's riddle, what gets harder to catch the faster you run? What gets harder to catch the faster you run? Answer on Wednesday. If you could train the ultimate exploration animal, what would it be? A wolf? An eagle? Maybe a camel? How about a jellyfish? Yes, a jellyfish. Scientists at the California Institute of Technology, or Caltech for short, were trying to figure out a new way to get a look at the ocean depths. Jellyfish are kind of the ultimate ocean explorers. They do as well in the tropics as they do in the Arctic. They can go from the shoreline to the deepest depths. Sure, they don't have a brain, but they make up for it in other ways. Well, making a robot jelly wasn't really working out. So the scientists at Caltech decided to make bionic cyborg jellyfish. Real jellyfish fitted out with electronics. 
They made kind of a hat for the jellyfish that helps them swim more efficiently. And it holds the sensors that take readings from the water around them. These jellyfish can still do all the things that make them so perfect for deep ocean missions. But now they can record what they find. The jellyfish are so good at their jobs, in fact, that the team running the experiment has had to work really hard to create electronics that are as tough as the jellyfish. And with the information the jellyfish bring back, scientists at Caltech hope to help in the fight against climate change. The weather today, a line of storms moving across the Mississippi River Valley. Rain is moving into the Pacific Northwest, maybe even bringing some snow to the mountains in Idaho and Montana. Hi, Missoula. The major warm-up all up the East Coast, but with those showers moving through tomorrow, it's going to cool down again. All right, today we have a jellyfish-themed poem called, believe it or not, A Jellyfish by Marianne Moore. Visible, invisible, a fluctuating charm, an amber-colored amethyst, inhabits it, your arm approaches, and it opens and it closes. You have meant to catch it, and it shrivels. You abandon your intent. It opens and it closes, and you reach for it. The blue surrounding it grows cloudy and... It floats away from you. Well, that's the show. Thank you very much for listening. If you like this episode, please subscribe, share it, and spread the word about the Kids Morning News Network. Grownups, if you'd like to become a supporter, there is a link in the episode description. I'll be back on Wednesday. I hope you are too. From the KMNN Newsroom, this is Alex signing off.